Hey Libras, welcome to your reading guys. Let's see how your person views your connections. How do they see you connecting? Mm -hmm. And find out what they want to say about it. Yes. We're going to do first person, second person's energy in this reading. Use your intuition to know which one of these is yours. And remember, it's from your person's perspective. It's how they see things, not necessarily how you see everything. Not even how you see yourself. <laughs> yes. Guys, I know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about the person in your connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign position positions. Guys, let me slow down. <laughs> I, I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out. See if I picked up energy there. Let's see first person's energy in this connection. What's going on? This is from a Libra. It's a person bringing out for us. Bringing out pop. Divinely guided. This relationship is being divinely guided and protected. Ooh. Ooh. Guys, we got about Four, three more. Ooh, do I feel it? Not that one. Not that one. Mm, possibly. Not that one. That one. Ow, guys, fights, fights. If I fight with you, it's because I still care. Care, worry when I don't. Mm -hmm. Divinely guided, and yeah, just ooh, we might have somebody that you know likes to, to argue a little bit just for the fun of it yeah hold the energy that's first person's energy let's see second person's energy in this connection mm, libra's person libra's oh dex fighting me big time fighting me it's like oh let's don't talk about it let's do second person's energy bring it out for us bring it out second per pops on the bottom We've got third party love triangle. Something is interfering. Competition and enemy. Guys, what am I picking up on this? Ooh. Mm. I'm not picking up a, a romantic, intimate, booty call somebody on the side kind of stuff. Mm -mm. I'm picking up um, friends, family, a, a, a third party influence that's not in an intimate way. Mm -mm. We got more and more. Yep. Filling it. Poker face. Two face. Ow. Lack of expression. Hiding true feelings. It's coming in with that, that third party, that other interference. Too many people in the connection. And it's not all in the bedroom. No. It's, no, it's not that. Let's see what else is going to come out. I'm going to use Romance Angel Oracles. Overall energy. For my Libras. This could represent anybody from kids, family, friends, siblings, cousins, somebody that's always up in, in, in other people's business. I don't know how else to put that. Mm -hmm. What else? Overall in top soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's the overall energy between us holding energy on this deck. But we definitely got uh, other interference of somebody that's trying to, you know, always bring drama and complications into things, and maybe just too, too, too nosy and busy, not in their own business. We're using cosmic terror. Let's get them talking, guys. Mm, somebody they feel like is two faced. Too, ooh, that that's banging big time, Libra. Two faced. Two faced. Oh, whoever it is interfering talks about people behind their back. Talks nice to them in front of their face and then talks about them bad behind their back. Hmm, that's not good. Hey, okay. Ow. <laughs> you know, you know me with two-faced people. I stick my big toe up your ass and walk you home. A thousand miles home. Get on talking. Libra's person, talk to us, talk to us. Pop. Got a seven of pentacles. Frustration, but patience to nurture something. And a lot of times when this card comes in, it's like, you know, is this worth all the energy, time and energy I'm putting into something? Then we have a seven of swords energy. 
Ow, seven of swords energy is sneaky behavior, thievery, things like that. The empower inside of it. I love cosmic tarot because it's like I'm walking away from that because I'm taking back what was taken from me, which is my my self honor, <laughs> my peace of mind, <laughs> that kind of thing. What else? We got a full card. Full card. New beginnings. Ooh. Keep talking. Libra's person pop. Got a two of wands. The young emperor standing on his threshold, evaluating things and reevaluating things. Ooh. Two of wands. Energy. Oh, crossroads. But building confidence to move forward, getting clarity. Mmm. Somebody is most definitely. Most definitely, guys, uh, considering what to take forward with them and what not to take forward with them uh, on this threshold. What am I willing to put my energy into and not put my energy into anymore? So it might be that uh, interference to face the person. Because this is a card of confidence. This is de definitely moving forward. Got a plan. Getting the plan. Getting things clear with yourself. But it's like... You know, who's going with me and who's not. And what's going with me and what's not. Ace of Swords got the victory. A new way of thinking. I like that. Air coming in on that. So that's definitely showing a positive side. I'm walking away from anything that's not serving me well. Anyone that is not authentic. Anyone that is two-faced. I'm not going to be around their energy. It's a new way of thinking and it's getting the victory over that. On the full card, up under it, we've got Six of Swords moving away from a storm. A rite of passage. I have learned my lesson. Almost definitely. So, I don't know who the third party is, but the person is bringing it forward big time because it may have caused some issues or causing issues in your connection or just their life. They're walking away from that. They've learned valuable lessons at rite of passage. Let's come in on... Seven of Swords. Two of Pentacles acclimating the change. That's a definitely change and feeling a little bit off balance, but also feeling good of I will get this. Coming out of our comfort zone of what is normal, what feels safe, and and be like, nope, I'm tired of that. It's time to change. This is acclimating new changes. What else is coming out? Five of Wands. Ooh, the chaos. Taking the chaos out of things. Mmm. Ooh, I like that. Taking, yeah, taking the chaos, the competition, anything out of my life. The disor being disorganized and just chaotic, confused. Ooh, and somebody has found their voice on the Five of Wands. A lot of times they'll have us standing back, not voicing ourselves and our opinions. Like, nobody really cares. Nobody ever hears me. So this person has made some changes, and they're starting to speak up, speak up mm -hmm, about things. Full card. Got the Empress. Somebody is definitely going in a new direction. Mm -hmm, and glowing up. Yes. What else? Seven of Cups, seeing that there are options available to them. And Tower Moment. Ow. Ooh, divine intervention, removing any obstacles or challenges that stand in our way. We're definitely popping on that full card, this person's energy, divinely guided. Feeling good because that's divine intervention. Anything that's oppressed us or, you know, holds us back, that's not in favor for us, this is the divine intervention to remove it from us, to clear the path. To open up options, new options to us. Ooh, guys, somebody is banging on that one, Libra. Mm, what else? What else here? Let's see. Let's come in on the two of wands. Let's see what they want to say on that one. Ow, King of Cups, Scorpio, transformation, and a visionary. Guys, they got a vision of the future. They can see things a lot clearer now and feel more confident in moving forward. This is our, you know, two ones is your young emperor starting out and, and getting clear on things and got the confidence to build out to that mature emperor sitting on the throne. Mm -hmm. And our Scorpio energy is transformation, but also having the vision 
and being emotionally mature about things. Then we have the high priest as somebody is filling it on an intuitive level. And Ace of Cups, love. Ooh, I love this. Because it's basically saying what they're what they are getting straight in their mind and their way of thinking right now is nothing that doesn't bring this is going to be in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go against my intuition anymore. Let's see what their frustration is on that Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Pop. Ooh, Four of Pentacles. Hold, trying to hold on to things that are not really working for us. That's a tight grip of trying to hold on to something uh, and losing your self-respect, your self-honor here. Of, you know, feeling like it's extremely important to you. This person is reevaluating big time. And Gemini, Prince of Swords energy, the challenger. They're up for the challenge and they're letting go of any neediness or codependency they may have had in, in the past. Standing up for themselves, Seven of Wands and Queen of Wands. Oh, definitely. Water energy popping up in here, Libra, but it's showing a, a lot of a maturity, emotional maturity, and someone able to follow their intuition now, and have confidence that, you know, their intuition is leading them in the right direction, mm -hmm. and it always has, but they, you can tell, they've just ignored their intuition before, and uh, put aside what they know is right for them because there's another influence there. Other influences that uh, have them, no, I'd rather you do this instead of doing what you need to do. That kind of thing. What's on the bottom of the deck? Ooh, happiness, truth, and clarity, but all things being revealed. Eight of Swords coming out of self-restriction, but also not being distracted this by this time by outer influences, other people's opinions, situations, things like that. Does not throw us off track of what we know we need and where we're headed. Ten of Wands. How oh, determination to see it through. Oh, and slow building Virgo energy. Prince of Pentacles. That is somebody is really clear about things, has thought things through. This is their time to organize. Organize and structure their life and move it to higher levels for their self. Oh, write a passage, guys. Write a passage. Hmm. Let's see what deck they want to start talking with. It's from a Libra's person. Libras. Come here. Oh, the roses. Okay. Light side of the rose deck. Let's jump in. It's from my Libras. Ooh, they're flying out. It's like we share the same mind and heart. I feel like I have been missing you my whole life. Hmm. I want to take a chance and risk it all, but I'm afraid. I'm hearing that I'm afraid I have been afraid. Because I don't feel this person being afraid anymore. I'm worried there is someone else. Mm -hmm. You know you could break my heart. Mm -hmm. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. I act like I don't care. But I really do. You're all I've ever wanted. I'm afraid to tell you. I wasn't looking for something like this. I can't get you out of my head. I don't care what others think. I just want to be with you. There's no doubt in my mind that we belong together. I need you here with me. It's hard for me to open up to you. Nothing compares to you. I almost hate how much I love you. 
Give me a chance. There is nothing I wouldn't do for you. I fantasize about you and long to touch you. And I'm worried that you are losing interest or that you will lose interest. Ooh, one more here. I wasn't expecting to fall so in love with you. Oh, guys. Hold the energy. Let's see if they want to close you off with a deck. Give you a brief message to close off with. It's from my Libras. Libras. You were getting at the butterfly deck. What the heck? It's the light side of the butterfly. Transformation is occurring. Yes. Yes. You would never believe me if I told you how I feel. Don't argue with them, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead. Yeah. They like to argue a little bit. I don't know how to prove my love and loyalty to you. I care so much for you. You're my obsession. Can't quit thinking about you. Sometimes it's all too much for me. I'm trying to trust that we will be together. I'm a complete mess. No one makes me feel the way you do. After knowing you, I will never be the same. And last one. I've waited forever for you. Aww. Libras, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.